How's it going guys and gals? Welcome to the beginning of my OBS tutorial series and in this one we're going to start at the beginning. We're going to install OBS Studio and set it up for the very first time. So no dilly dallying, no no rubbish like that. Let's just, let's just get it done. Let's go. Okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to obsproject.org Com. Now, the link for that is going to be down in the description, or you can just go into Google, type in OBS, and it will more than likely be the top uh, top link in the search. So OBS Broadcaster Software, obsproject.com is where you want to go. Now, depending on what platform you're on, if you're on Windows, if you're on Mac, if you're on Linux, you have to click the button that is suitable for you. I run Windows, so I'll click the Windows button. It's going to download the latest version of the software. So once it's downloaded, you're going to want to locate your downloads folder, which for me here on Windows is bringing up the file explorer here. Click downloads and there it is. Run the full installer. Give it permissions, obviously say yes. You're going to scroll through, hit next, next, next. Choose where you want to install OBS. Now for most people, this is going to be on your C drive, your main hard drive. This is where I put it. If you want to put it somewhere else, Go ahead. Uh, but anyway, click install and let it do its thing. It really won't take very long. Only take a few minutes. And once it's done. Come on, OBS, don't let me down. There we go. <laughs> it will give you the option to launch it. And obviously, we're going to launch. And that should open up OBS for the very first time. For the minute, the first thing I want you to do is come up to the top and click profile and go to new. Now, we're going to create a new profile. This one's going to be called, for me, OBS Tutorials. And now you'll see at the top, it now says Profile OBS Tutorials. Scenes Untitled. We're going to do the same thing, going into Scene Collection. We're going to go to New, and we're going to type in OBS Tutorials, like so. Okay, so now you'll see that it says Profile OBS Tutorials, Scenes OBS Tutorials. Now, the reason for doing this is so that you can later on use the same instance of OBS, use your same software to be able to do, you know, to stream on multiple different platforms or even have multiple different accounts. If, say, you and your partner or, or your flatmate or your friends or whatever use the same computer to stream or to record on, then you can both set up individual profiles and scene collections. And at the click of a button, you can get up they can sit down, bang, bang, and that's it. They're streaming with all their logos, all of their scenes, all their webcams, all of their alerts, all set up how they want it. Minimal effort. Really, really useful. Definitely do that. All right, so once you've set up a profile for your scenes and for your main settings, the first thing you're going to do is create a scene. So we're going to come down to the bottom left-hand side of OBS here, and we're going to click the little plus button, and we're going to type a name for our first scene. So in this particular case, we're going to call it, uh, let's call it desktop. Okay, desktop, desktop scene. All right, uh, click OK, and there it is. Your new, brand new scene here is called desktop. Now we're going to add some sources to this. Obviously, you're going to want a microphone. You're going to want some background imagery of some description. So what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, right click here in this area, because otherwise it's going to get really wonky really quickly. You come up to this area, right click anywhere in the black and go to preview scaling, scale to window. Okay, click scale to window. That will make sure it comes up nice and scaled and easy to look at. Okay, like that. Just trust me, do that first. Next, come down to sources and click the little plus button. Let's, let's do display capture. So we're going to just capture the entire screen. All right, we're going to show... Whatever we're streaming is going to be whatever's on our screen. All right, so we click display capture. Uh, we'll call this one main monitor. Click OK, and there you go. Next thing we want to do, of course, is add a microphone so people can hear what we're saying. So I'm going to go to plus again, audio input capture. I'm going to call this one microphone. And what you are going to do here in this next window is choose your, your microphone. It might be a headset. You might have a, a headset. You might not have a microphone and you might have to choose the one that's built into your webcam. For example, your microphone, if it's plugged in, would be here or your headset. So choose whichever microphone is applicable to you. Select that and click OK. And now what you see is as you talk, your microphone should move the bars 
here in the audio mixer. Now we'll go into the audio mixer in another video. We'll go a bit deeper into it very, very quickly. The green is good. The yellow is okay. Pretty good. The red is bad. Okay. You don't want your voice to be going up into the red. So if you notice it going up here into the red a lot, simply slide this slider down until most of the time your audio is coming at the very top of the green, just pushing into the yellow, kind of like that. Okay. So I do my webcam or I add my webcam differently into OBS in a way that I think is a lot more, um, it gives you so many more options, more professional way, I think, personally. Uh, you don't have to do it this way, but this is just the way that I do it, and I definitely recommend it. And that is to add a separate scene, first of all, and we'll call this scene um, Plain Webcam, right? So we'll call this one Plain Webcam. Okay, so now we have another scene set up here. So in the sources, go to plus, go to... Uh, video capture device down the bottom and we'll call this one our which what webcam is this life cam i think uh life cam webcam just in case you've got more than more than one camera then you want to make sure you know which one it is so click life cam webcam in this case click ok and boom it's going to give you options okay this is my first ever webcam that i ever had hello hello webcam and uh, it's only 720p, and it also likes to be 4 by 3 um, for some reason. But that's fine. We're going to stretch it out. So the first thing you do is click to resolution FPS type. Click on that one, and we're going to go custom, and then choose the biggest resolution that we can on this one, because this is a very small resolution camera. You wouldn't usually want your webcam any higher than 1080. Leave the rest as default for now. Click OK, and if it's smaller, stretch it out to be the same size as the window. Come on. There we go. Now, obviously, this isn't in focus and things like that. I'm not too worried about that for now. Um, but the webcam is in there. Job done. Tick to add the webcam in. We're actually going go to go down to the plus in the sources section. But instead of adding the video capture device, we're going to add the scene. Now, we just made a plain webcam scene. We can click OK and boom, there it is. Now, we can resize that however we want. So let's make it small and where should we put me? Put me over there. Uh, that is a horrible camera angle. <laughs> That's the worst. Feel free to comment how bad that camera angle is. But the I'll show you just very quickly why I do it in this particular way. Say, for example, I wanted the webcam to be black and white. So all we would do then is we go scenes, we go plus, and we'd say black uh, uh, and why can't I type today? Okay. We'll do the same thing. We'll literally add video capture device, uh, add existing live cam webcam. There it is. Stretch it right out like so. We lock that one and instead of changing. Okay, so let me just show you really quickly. So if I am to change the source, so if I add a filter, onto the source of that webcam. So the, the webcam in this sources menu. So let's say we make it just for the sake of it, black and white. Where has it gone? Color correction, okay. Saturation all the way down, black and white, right? So now everywhere that like that webcam is in the in my entire project, it will be black and white. I have added those filters to that webcam source. Doesn't matter where I put it, it's always gonna be black and white right so we take the filters off that I'll, 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 well i'll prove it first so we go into black and white webcam there it is black and white we go into plain webcam there it is black and white um it's a pain right because you might want to use that camera for more than one different thing so we go back into the filters on this webcam turn off the black and white make me horrible colors but yep sort that out um now, if we want to have a black and white version of our webcam, we would actually right click on the scene and go to filters and then add the filter in. In this case, again, color correction, drop the saturation down. That's black and white now. Now, it's only changed the scene. So the plain webcam is still color and the black and white webcam is black and white. So this 
gives you options, for example, when doing transitions and loads of other things. I'll go, f we'll make a proper video about this. I will show you all the different things that you can do by doing it in this one, in this manner. But this is, I just thought I'd get in there in the basics why I do it in that way. All right, guys, hopefully you found that video useful. If you did, please be sure to leave that thumbs up. Really, really appreciate it. If you didn't, smash that thumbs down as well. Always good to know. Leave a comment below if you want anything answered, if you have any questions, obviously, if you have anything that you want me to make a video of explaining. If you want to ask me live, you can come and hang out on Twitch. Link for that is down in the description as well as on the screen right now. Or if you want to be keeping up to date with all of this series, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I think that covers absolutely everything. I am up way too late doing this video today. I should have done it earlier, uh, but I appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you found it useful and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Good night. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.